Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a screen capture that we can then import into Adobe Lightroom using and then use the keywords on it. So, for example, here's one of the screen captures I've already done. Applied some keywords to it, and look, when I scroll over it, it has the information of the folder that it came from as well as the file name. Same with this one. Folder name, file name. So you go into here, over here, and you can see that it's got clicked on it, Boonville, California, Cobwall, Emerald Earth, and it tells you how many photos in the whole collection have that number of photos in there, which is going to be really helpful when we're looking through our footage for B footage, for example, and we need to know, first of all, what types of photos we've got. We've got nature, we've got community, we've got cob walls, we've got eco building, we've got Emerald Earth photos, and then how many um, photos are there and those photos represent clips so that'll really help and then we can just click on it and it'll take us right we can click on that keyword and it'll take us right to those images and we can go oh well, where this is cool where is this and it'll take us right to the file name if we hover over it there you go and then you go to your hard drive and you there you go there is okay so it said it was clip movie movie 16 so you go down here and there it is, movie 16. Now, okay, granted, I'm ha, renaming these based on um, repeated images down here. Um, I've used a lot of repeated images just as placeholders, so that was wrong. But we can do this right, so let's do this right. All right, so we either are going to be using... Um, the clips in our log on the thumbnails, we can do it one of two ways, either from here or we can do it from our finder, and I'll explain both. So let's do this. So in Mac, you do Command Shift 4 to drag and drop a, um, an icon around your image. So let's do this one, Richard Heimberg. There we go. So it just goes straight to our desktop, and I've set my Mac's settings using the terminal to create an icon um, that's a or to create a thumbnail that's a JPEG so that in, um, Light, Lightroom can import it because Lightroom can only import JPEGs not PNGs which is max default screen capture mode so then I import it using Lightroom and um, I add it to my collection down here that I've made for movie clip thumbnails and then right here, I can give it keywords up here. And the great thing about this keywording program, too, is it has keyword suggestions. So I know it's in California. Bam, I gave it the California keyword. I also want to give it, um, here, click here to add keywords. So I want to give it Richard Heinberg. Bam, there it is. Um, post carbon. And look, I have in my transcription added a bunch of keywords so I can just copy and paste them from right here um, sustainability expert copy paste there we go and then down here all of a sudden they're showing up in our list Richard Heimberg there we go sustainability expert perfect and now the oh I forgot to do one thing I, I meant to go and add um, the image file information to this. So let me go back and do that. Numbers, how do I get that image file information? Well, in our log, I've kept, kept the image file location right here. So select all for the folder. Um, here's that image, and I add it just to the, the name. I just paste over the name, like that. And then I also want to get the file name in there, and the file name is clip number 57, because it's ABCHD. So then I go in and I have to make sure there's no file ending like .mp4 or .mov because it, it ruins the JPEG. Uh, it's not a JPEG anymore. It makes it harder to import. So let me just re-import that. There it is. All right. I'm going to add that back to our collection down here and I'm going to delete the other one that I created by accident. So I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to add um, keywords again to it. And look, they're still there. Those keywords are still there. Richard Heimberg, Post Carbon, California, um, Sustainability Expert. Perfect. There we go. And now when I scroll over, 
there's his information for that clip. Perfect. The other way we could do this is go into our hard drive and create a clip um, right here. So let's um, go to pause it, go to the beginning of the clip, and make our first screen capture. And um, you know the other thing is that this clip is very different all along, and so we might want to go along and take you know um, some different shots along to kind of get an idea of w what the timeline looks like. But that'll take a lot more work. So for now, we're just going to do one clip at a time, and we can discuss if we need to do more. So now we want to go give it information. But how do we do that? Well, we have to make sure to get the folder info. So copy it here and then go to the desktop and what, it's this one bam okay and then we want to get oops we want to go back to our folder and it was what file was it, it was movie 13 luckily I remember you might want to open two of these windows up so you don't have to go back and forth and you can stay on your file so for example that would be going to your desktop and just opening up another finder window and then going to your desktop to rename it and leaving this one open where you're on your file so you can see the file name. So Emerald Earth Boonville, that's the one. There we go. Bam. Oops, see, and I just changed the extension to MOV from JPEG. You don't want to do it, so leave, keep as JPEG. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now import it. Um, let's see, where are we? Is that it? Yep, there we go. Import it. And we could just do batch imports too. We don't have to import it every single time. So here we go. We know it's at Boonville. It's Emerald Earth. It's California. Perfect. There's a couple of quotes. We know it's got community. Uh, so if we if we can't go to the keyword list and I think and add it. Wait, can we? Yeah, there you go. You can add it just right here by going down the list. You don't even have to type anything. How cool is that? Within reach. Uh, landscape community there you go alright so we've added our our keywords and if you wanted to add some new ones let's say we want to add a new keyword to this just type right in uh, click here to add keywords so weeds <laughs> alright there we go and of course um, we want to make sure to add it to our movie thail, nail thumbnail collection that's already in there there we go, we scroll over it. Oh, that's a cool thumbnail. Where's that clip? There it is. Bam. All right, thanks a lot, you guys.